Alright guys, this is the hookup when we're drilling with foam. Um, the foam uh, runs through a much smaller pump, very similar to our mud pump, just much, much smaller volume. Okay. The uh, suction from the foam mix comes out of these tanks. You'll have two 55 gallon barrels. Uh, you'll fill them plump full of water. Uh, put one liter of foam solution per barrel. You don't need to mix it up too much, just pour it in there, it kind of self mixes. You'll go through about one barrel per stick and a half, two sticks if you're drilling right. Uh, this suction line, the one inch uh, yellow line, just goes down to the bottom of the tank. Your air supply line coming from the air compressor hooks up to this little quick connect right here. That's a little red line on the side of the air compressor, will go right here. This is off, this is wide open. We never run it anywhere near wide open. When you're running operation, you just want to crack this thing about like that. And you measure the flow by what's coming out the discharge here. Remember, it's sucking in here on the yellow hose. Then the air is making the pump work, just like the big one, and it's discharging here through the garden hose. When this garden hose is pumping right, you should get a surge about every three seconds. And that's plenty of foam going down hole. Now, we're bypassing the water pump. We're not using it at all. So this red line, you know, that we always hook to the air compressor for using water, instead of putting it over here onto this outlet, this is where it's always been, right here on this outlet, to run the big mud pump, we unscrew it, and then we've got this fitting here. It's a two inch uh, cam valve. Is that under pressure? Can't, anyway. This two inch fitting here, which you keep in the toolbox, separates this. This usually hooks up right here. This is usually the discharge on the water. So all we're doing is rewriting the air straight down the hole. When you wrap this air through the hole and mixes up with that solution, when those two hit, that's what makes your foam. When this pumps, it's just pumping a little watery, looks like uh, foamy water. It's, it was just, you can pour it. Once you engage all this air to it, then it comes out, you know, just huge foam. But this is the right setup for that. You can just let that lay kind of right down in there. Uh, this garden hose here hooks up there behind Jim. You see that little, uh, there's a two foot long, three quarter inch uh, pipe coming down. Jim, touch that pipe right there. And then you see the valve right below that. So right now it's off. Jim will want to turn that valve on. Now you're ready to drill with foam. Now one thing you guys need to watch that valve, if you've been drilling with a water or mud solution, because of the way things set up, that three quarter inch line fills completely up with sediment, uh, just mud and crud. So when you switch over to foam, open that valve, there are some rods in the toolbox on the side of the air compressor trailer. Take those rods, ram them up in there, get all that freed up. Otherwise you'll go to turn all this on, it'll just pressure up wide open, but nothing will happen. So free all that up you know, before you even hook it up. Uh, then turn your valve on, uh, you turn your air compressor on both levers and then that powers this up and you're ready to go over on the uh, to control the air follow me around here when you drill with water and you're wanting to go down hole you know, this is off this lever right here controls your airflow going to the mud pump so when this is up you know your mud pumps going full blast when you're set up for foam you don't want to open it wide open. It's just way too much air going down hole. You just want to crack it. I mean, maybe like a like a maybe a 20% crack, just enough air, and you'll see when it comes up. You know, it'll be a real big foamy deal. It'll come up. Usually stands up 18 inches to two feet. It'll float out all your stuff. And then when you're gonna switch pipes, you shut this off, and then you motion to the guy running the air control on the water solution to have him shut off, and you switch pipes. And when you've got everything hooked back up, you're ready to drill again. You'll, you'll crack this back to about 20%. Uh, foam solution guy will turn his all the way open. Um, you know, we do all the control the on and off over at the air compressor, not the little adjustment valve. Little adjustment valve, once you've got that set, we like to leave that be and do all the on off at the air compressor. That way there's no like fidgeting around trying to get it timed right. You know, once it's set, let's leave it set. As you go deeper, uh, you get uh, down in that 80, 90, 100 foot range, you will have to adjust that thing to make sure your pulse is right. As you go deeper, you got a lot more pressure pushing back. You got to make sure that uh, you're sending enough down to do the job. So always keep an eye on that deal. As you, if you're drilling from here, 
you can only see the green hose right here and you can watch it surge. You know, remember a surge about every three seconds is right. That's, uh, that's all there is about foam.